Good morning doll collectors out there. Now my videos are really based um, around sort of the older community. They're not, it's not really it's for children. I do state it's not for children on my videos. But obviously there's a crossover. If you collect dolls, your child might also collect dolls. Now this is a little doll which is designed for children. It is designed by children. Its facilities are for children. It's absolutely fabulous. I only really found out about her, I'd, well I'd heard about her, but I got this one, uh, I've mentioned it before from a friend, it's a little charity shop find, and I was really impressed with the quality of the doll, she's missing her little socks and shoes, and she should have a little bag, and this apparently according to the site is, let me write it down, is their school days doll, now I was really impressed with her, and I thought well I'd like a new one to see what they are like, as I said, they are designed for children and for children, but I think as a doll collector, she's also a really lovely little doll. And looking at the different types of dolls they've got, they'd look great on display or stood up. My granddaughter's a little bit young. I think the sort of, well, she'd be okay for the doll. She'd be great for that. She's five. I think she'd really love the doll and the dressing of her and everything. But if you look on their website, I do think it's sort of leaning nearer towards like a seven, eight year old. The doll is based on an average nine year old. So that gives you an idea of what she is like. Um, and I really thought she was lovely. So I decided to have a look a little bit more into who Lottie was. Now I'm going to pop this one to one side and this is the one that I bought. Now I've waited a couple of weeks for her, obviously posted at the moment, it's not that easy and I've got a pair of scissors here ready so I think the first thing we're going to do is an unboxing and then I'm going to sort of mention a little bit about the company as well. So let's see if we can get in it. Now I don't want to damage the box because although the post, well not the postman personally, but the delivery service and that we do have some uh, creasing and that there now I don't collect the boxes I'm not wanting the box for myself but if you go on their web page um, there's a little bit about how you can actually make this into a little bit of scenery and the little items I'll go into that in a bit uh, what you can use on the back as well so I'm going to try not to damage it as much as possible so scissors are out and let's have a look at our little lotte now this one, as you can see on the back, it goes, be bold, be brave, be you. That seems to be the motto of the company. That is what Lottie is about. Now for this particular one, she is, it's the Pandora's box Lottie. It would be a good idea to tell you what's on the box first. And again, it's not suitable for under three year olds, but you know that. I mean, if you're buying this for a child, you will know your, your own child for that. Now this one, it says Lottie is volunteering at an animal shelter. And one day a cardboard box is mysteriously left outside the front door. And inside is a Persian cat. They decide to name her Pandora. Unlike the Greek myth where the box brought unhappiness, obviously, I am abbreviating some of this, <laughs> obviously this one is a happy experience. But there's a little bit more about the story. Again, when I talk about the website, you'll get what all this is about. So let's get into it. I don't want to damage the box. Ah, there we go. Chuck the tag in as well. Let's have a look. Come on, squeeze out. There we go. I just want to have a look what the tag says, actually. I didn't really look. Oh, it just says, inspired by real kids. And again, be bold, be brave, be you. It is a, an award-winning toy. Uh, when I've gone on the site, I am really impressed with it. It is definitely, I mean, I've gone from me wanting one as a doll collector and wanting more, looking at them, um, to me wanting to do it for my granddaughter and wanting her to be involved. Although, like I say, some of the activities she's a little bit young for, but I would still like her to be involved with it because I'm really quite impressed. So I will pop that over there and let's get the scissors out and... And snip snip time snip snip don't get the hair I always get the hair there we go so there's her and then we have a couple of other little parcels here we have a pair of glasses so she's got some really cool pink glasses there just pop that there a minute and um, we have a little kitty hat. There's obviously the theme round this. As much as it says she's volunteers at an animal shelter, cats and dogs, 
obviously the theme is a little bit more pussycat wise don't really need that bit there's nothing there that i require for that let's take a little hat out of her bag and just use the scissors there and there she has a little cute felt hat Move my rubbish don't like rubbish hanging about and her glasses oh they're adorable they've even and yeah i thought you know normally they're like hollow glasses but there's actually a little bit of plastic in there so it does actually look the way they've sort of painted it and designed it like a proper pair of glasses rather than the uh, lensless ones you normally get so i'm going to pop them down and let's have a look at lottie here again she's similar to my other one same sort of hair there are lots of different ones um, the hair always has this sort of odd feel to most dolls. I mean, this is the one we've had for a while and her hair's lovely and soft now. But I think that's just sort of how it holds it in place. She has a good head of hair. She's not one of these where she's got ball patches underneath. So she's sort of been beautifully made. She's got a lovely little fringe there. She has a little coat, which um, is attached there. I think you meant to cut that. I will be cutting it. I hope I meant to cut it. Let's have a look. And it looks like a stitch, like it's holding it. Yeah. Oh, and it's even lined, so we've got a little bit of lining inside the coat. This is sort of like felt again, sort of proper little button details there. It doesn't actually fasten up like that, but it doesn't matter. Let's take her coat off. Hold on, on, Lottie, squeeze you around. There we go. And she's got a cute little pinafore dress, which is a, a dress. It's not a separate pinafore on top, but it is a lovely little dress. And again, pussycat themed there. Velcro back, which is nice. Obviously, the name of the company there, UK, which is nice, but made in China. Most dolls and toys are made in China now. Um, let's have a look. I don't know if there's any more details that would be relevant. She's got these lovely little tights here. And we have these little boots. Now, as far as the shoes and that are concerned, I do need to check because I've got a feeling, because there is a clothes range as well, that some of these will fit some of my other dolls, which is quite nice because I like it when you can get a crossover. The little tights and everything are gorgeous. Let's fasten her dress back up. There we go, Mrs. You've got your dress on and pop your other boot back on. The clothing is lovely quality. Do you pop your little hat on? I'm going to pussycat hat. And she has her little glasses. In fact, I should put her glasses on first. Let's have a look. Oh, there's her little ears. So can they go over or do we just push them on? There we go. So she's got a very cool pair of glasses on there. And let's pop your cat hat on now, see if it'll all stay on together. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. The articulation is very much what most dolls are. Most of your fashion dolls and everything. You've got a little bit more movement there. So you've got you've got quite a bit of movement. So we're up and down, side and side. Feels quite a solid joint, which is nice. The legs, they do bend. I was about to say they're probably not bendable, but they are. So we've got a little bit of a bend there. So if you're doing a bit of doll photography, she's great for posing and things like that. So let's have a look. The other one as well. Yep. Now you can hear the clicks. Leg movement, up and down. Not really side to side let's see how she sits because sometimes a lot of my dolls you sort of sit them and their legs splay out very inelegantly and i'd rather them sort of sit with their legs together a little bit more which she's quite good she's losing a bit of hair here but that's quite normal i think she sits quite nicely so she's got quite a nice angle for her sitting obviously if she was on a little chair you can bend her legs a little bit so she'll sit nicely Ooh, glasses have dropped up in fact, we'll take, them, we'll take them off because they're just going to keep dropping off while I'm moving her about. So I think her articulation is really nice. I do think she's got such a pretty little face. She's a very nice doll. Very sort of, I don't know. I just, I just think she's nice. I just think she's got a lovely face. These two are the same, aren't they? These are both... And this is Lottie, I am presuming. There are lots of different ones. Um, this one... The particular original Lottie came out in 2012. And there is also a little boy Lottie as well. You can't say a little boy Lottie. Well, you can say a little boy Lottie. Uh, he came out in uh, 2013. There is just so much influence as far as children are concerned. They have really been inspired to make this an educational doll. On the website, you can see science, you can see history, you can see cookery, you can see maths, you can see English. There are all the different sort of skills and activities. And again, if you've got a child around that age, 
pop on or grandchild pop on the site because there are a lot of downloadables which i'm going to show you a couple of bits that i've downloaded in a second or two but let's have a look at the box now there's a couple of videos also on the site which talks about the box now it's a different box to this one because obviously it's a different one but you see how we've got a little doll here on the site you can print off a paper doll now I don't think that's the same size as that but on the side there is I mean it might be a certain range only of this but you can actually get the little clothes that you cut off the box we'll have a go but I do think that looks way too small it might not be it might have just be an illusion um, I will have a go in a second and so you've got paper dolls I've only done this on paper but if you printed it off on cardboard you can make different outfits and pop different things on I mean thinking about making the outfits they also have uh, the they've done a world cup one which is obviously last year's but they're constantly putting new things on so again make it out of car cut it up can't even speak printed out of cardboard you can cut the little doll out and then she's got various sort of football outfits now there is other countries as well i just obviously uh i'm in the uk so i just printed this one out because there's the english one but there's all the different uh, countries there so that's sort of quite cool this takes me really back to when i did paper dolls as well so that is really good so shall we have a look at whether this cuts out now, because of the fold in the box, it's a bit of a pain to cut, but I'm going to cut down this seam. The boxes just make like little bits of scenery. As long as, as I say, it hasn't been squashed by the postal delivery. I'm just uh, slit that. Ah, I'll put into it a little bit. I just want to try and get this back page off so we can have a look. It's probably not the best scissors to be doing it with. But as you can see for this bit, we've got a little window. We can take that out, I'm pretty sure. On the uh, video, she takes that out easy enough. Yep, so that slides out. And we can take that back up. So you've got little windows here on there. So they've decorated them stained glass. So a little entrance here so you can have like a little little display area if you wanted to put it on your shelf in a display you could display it like that i suppose if you have it on the shelves that's entirely up to you i like i said i'm not big on boxes but i think it's cute for the kids to be able to make little sort of buildings as well so oh you know it might do let's have a look let's have a look maybe not so easy to cut out this depending on the age of the child or if it's for yourself that's fine but if it's for a younger child like i said my granddaughter's five so i would be doing the cutting out here so i'm just going to cut out her dress and coat see it's quite fine this now on the uh, video they've got like i said i'm not so sure whether this box is one that's designed for this it might be just certain ones so i don't need her hands that sounds really awful doesn't it cutting her hands off I'm just trying to cut the coat out. Now it's all form cutting her head off. Poor Lottie. You can actually, talking about names, you can see the names. You can see mine are Lottie's. Um, we have Sammy, we have Maya, Emily, Finn and Olivia. So you've, you've got a really good selection of dolls there. And each one does different activities. One that's quite cool, they've got a space, the astronaut and lottie actually went into space with tim peak so she's uh, first doll in space let's have a look i don't think these are the right size no they're not you can see they're too small so you probably need um a particular box so it might be worth having a good look on the site and see which one they were but you can always get make your own little outfits use this as a guide perhaps and have a little bit of fun if you like doing your paper dolls yourself or as I say, you've got a child or grandchild, it's a great thing to be doing with them. Um, obviously, if you keep in the box, you can put it. If it's a little gift, it'd be quite nice to pop the name on there, wouldn't it? But I am really, really impressed. There's a, there's the club. Oh, join the club, uh, Lottie, today for lots of free activities and new competitions. And there is definitely a lot of activities on there. I was really, really impressed. Um, some of them I will do for my granddaughter. There's some print off, there's some uh, colourings, there's um, obviously the paper dolls like I referred to. There's a lovely history section on biographies of sort of 
inspirational women over the years and it's written for kids to understand again my granddaughter's a little bit young perhaps now going back to the actual doll herself looking at price on the site itself average at 20 pounds shall we say there's some a little bit less there's some a little bit more but there's clothing there is um I can't think of the word. Um, activities for the dolls to do. There's like one with a little canoe. There's a little camping set. You know, there's all sorts of things you can get to sort of go on your lottie adventure, should I say. I would really, really recommend you have a look on this site. I think she's absolutely adorable as a collectible doll. She's probably going to be a collectible on the in the future. I mean, as you know, Cindy's my main vintage collectible. Um, and when I was a child playing with them, I never thought of anything being a collectible thing. Whereas now things are a little bit different like that. And I think there's definitely one that could be. Because of the diversity, because of the selection, she looked, she looked great on a shelf all lined up. And this was all because I got this little one uh, from a little bundle from a friend that gave me from a charity shop. So I was impressed. So I decided to have a little look and get my own Lottie. And I will get more. I will get my granddaughter some. Not at the moment, because as I said, things are a little bit difficult with postage, etc, etc. But I might look into doing that. So I hope you like that. Just a little view on a new little doll. Um, I've got to stop collecting dolls. No, I haven't. Um, I've got to start getting some shelves for my dolls. I'm hoping that at some point along the route of what's happening at the moment, I will be able to get some shelves. I've got some I need to paint up, but... Uh, it's getting a little bit overcrowded where my dollies are kept. So, say hello to Lottie, whether you're doll collector or whether you're wanting to buy them as a gift. Um, I'd say yes. I'd definitely say go for it because they are really, really cute. They remind me a little bit of sort of towards the Leica dolls or Leica dolls, whichever way you want to pronounce it, the Japanese dolls. Um, but yeah, I think absolutely gorgeous. So, have a look on their website. I'll pop a link in the description so you can have a look. And again, if you've got a younger member of the family uh, with you, or just somebody who likes doing the paper dolls, etc., have a look. It's great. There's so much to do and activities for them on there. So thank you very much for watching. Just a little dolly insight there. Please like, subscribe and share if you do like what I say. Um, and hope to see you very soon. I think it's got to be a crochet item next. I'm trying to think what to do next week. I need. To, I think I'm going to do an amigurumi. I can't make up my mind yet. So hope to see you very soon. Please keep safe and well everybody out there. And bye for now.